What we have here is a set of uh, three four shot <coughs> launchers. I put these together with uh, Sport Dog Electronics, brand new in January 2018. You have a two year warranty on these, so that'll go till January of 2020. <coughs> these are wired to shoot one, two, three, four off of one of them, one, two, three, four off the second one, one, two, three, four off the third one. Or you can shoot one off of launcher number one, number two, then number three, shoot a triple mark for your dog. Pretty simple to use, and I'm shooting this by myself, so bear with me just a little bit. What we have here is we've got aluminum frame that holds your launcher mechanisms. These launcher mechanisms are basically bulletproof. I've used these for 15 years since I've been training my retriever dogs. And I've never had an issue with any of the launcher mechanisms. <clears throat> canvas bumpers are brand new. White retriever trainer canvas bumpers with the tail on them. You can see I haven't even shot this one off yet. I didn't have the tail separated. And these canvas bumpers like to shoot a long ways. So I put a spacer on my launcher tube here to simulate a, a, a hand-thrown bird. If you don't put the spacer on there, it's gonna go a long ways, very similar to what you'd see in a flyer at a hunt test or a field trial. The way we operate these things, pretty simple. If I can figure it out, anybody can, because I'm very technically challenged. And I'm gonna try to do it here so that you can see the screen on the receiver. Push the receiver down, the button on top here, the on-off button, push it down and hold it on, wait about five seconds, you're going to see a P come up in the window here. There's my P. I want to program this on the number one circuit, so I'm going to push one of the buttons on the, on the top here, number one, watch the P start to flash. Okay, it's flash, it'll flash for about five seconds and then stop, and then just to make sure that I've got it connected and that it paired itself together properly. The sound button is on the right hand side here. This one is the launcher button. I'm going to push the sound button to make sure I get sound out of that. All right, there we go. So that one's paired to, to number one. I'm going to come over here and pair this one to number two. Again, push the button down and hold it till the P comes up. There's my P. I'm going to push in line number two here. I'm going to push the right hand button. You see that flashing? I hope you can see it flashing. Now I'm gonna make sure it pairs, so I'm gonna to touch number the sound button on number two. There we go. I'm gonna move over here to number three. And I'm gonna pair this one on number three. Push it down and hold it. There's my P, stands for program. I'm gonna push in the third line down here. I'm gonna push the right hand button. See the P flash in there. Make sure it paired up. And we're ready to go. These are not loaded with a, a, a bullet in it. Stand it up, pull the pin all the way back. And again, this is launcher number three. So if I want to shoot this one off, I can push the sound button on number three here. Let me get it up here where you can see it. Here we go. Number three, I'm going to... Uh, okay, I want to shoot the first launcher, the first tube on number three, so you see the number one on it. I'm going to push the fire button on number three. Okay, one, two, three. Push the fire button on three. There it goes. Okay, now if when I want to shoot the second bumper off of launcher number three on the side here, push the top button, it moves your transmitter up to number two, that tells you it's shooting the second bumper. Push your third button down, there goes your second one. Okay, move it up to number three. This is the third tube on launcher number three. I'm going to push the fire button, there it goes. I've got one left here, so I'm going to move it up to number four. There's number four, and there I've shot the number four. What I like to do with these, if I'm training a young dog, <coughs> is I'll shoot one of these off if I'm training him to go long. 
I'll set it out there however far I want to go, say at 200 or 225 yards, fire it off, let the dog go. A lot of times they start to break down at 60, 70, 80 yards and then you can fire another one as he's on the way to keep that momentum going. The dog learns to run long. He runs long, he picks up something at the end, he gets his reward which is his uh, retrieve, brings it back to you and then there you go again. This is going to come with one transmitter which I've got in my hand. It's going to come with a charger which has a charging plug to plug in to charge your receiver and it also has a charging plug to plug in that will charge your transmitter. Come with brand new retriever trainer bumpers that are the all white bumpers where the dogs can see them and they've got the black and white tails on them. Leave the tails on, take them off, whichever suits your need. You can see these are brand new because the tails haven't even been taken off. I'm going to take these out in the field here in just a minute and launch them so that you can see what I'm talking about as far as range and then also how you can shoot a triple mark off of here to let your dog learn how to mark multiple marks.